So you've decided now would be a good time to write your book. Great. Good for you. Excellent news. Then you go make tea, sharpen pencils, find a notebook, clean the kitchen, take a call, text a friend, scroll the feed, take a nap, make a snack, and then you run out of time. This pattern might repeat itself for a few days, months, years, or even a lifetime until you're on your deathbed thinking, oh, I'm not ready to go yet. I still have so much I want to do. And then you see that unwritten book flash before your eyes before you drift off to the eternal slumber. Crap, I never wrote that book. You see, you have quit before you began. Sure, you might write a few pages here and there, but there always seems to be a short-term project to complete that gets in the way. Short-term projects often become the priority because short-term projects are often where the money is and you gotta pay your bills. I get it, of course, of course. And book writing is a long-term situation. So what do you do? The title of this video is about how you can quit writing your book. So I suggest quitting not at the beginning, before you've even begun writing. This seems obvious. And yet, oh my goodness, are we ever good at quitting before we begin? The key is to start writing anything. Start writing anything. Just roll with whatever's on your mind. Type up a page a day, use whatever tools will make it easier or more fun for you to write. See, it is easy to decide to write a book, but it is a whole other animal to write a book and see if what you are writing can become a book. Now, I know this is obvious, and yet we get our verbs mixed up. Deciding is a verb and writing is a verb. Deciding to write a book and writing. If you have written out some of what you think might become a book, and if you find that a bit tiresome and not your thing, then you can quit writing that book. You have given it your best shot and have learned that you are not interested in continuing to devote time to this project. And hey, book writing isn't for everyone. Some of life is just experimenting with what you might want to do or not do. Book writers tend to like writing books. And if you're not that person, you don't have to try to become one. You're on your deathbed and you see that unwritten book floating past. You can think, what a relief. I didn't spend one more minute on that endeavor. Huh. I went out and did other creative things with my time on this earth. High five to self. The second best time to quit writing your book is after you've finished it. After you've finished it, polished it up, and know that you can't improve it before apathy sets in. It is a race to get a book done. You have to write faster than apathy can crawl onto the scene. Now, if the idea of writing that book sounds like something you'd like to get up to. I have a few great writing courses that will help you organize your thoughts, write better, and write a book from start to finish. The details are below. I really want you to find the best place for your creative energy. Subscribe for more videos on all 